probably the, the, the way you interact in the environment. Okay. Um, if it was a glove, it'd be amazing. Yeah. But then, I mean, how, how do you get the, the exact top? Yeah. Feeling. So, um, I, I, re I do like the remotes, I do, but I really think if we could get some kind of glove that could adapt and be more heavy or be lighter, um, if that would be that. And uh, um, wires, headset wires, they're just, sometimes they can really get in the way. You can string it up to a ceiling and hang it down and it'll be pretty good, but if it's on the ground, I mean, it's a tripping hazard unless somebody's there doing it with you. So I hope more people embrace it, especially um, in the neurological community or even for you know, like VAs like here mm -hmm. at this clinic or uh, um, like, a, you know, there's like a bunch of different clinical trials that people are doing where they put PTSD patients in there. They prime kids who are going for surgery. They prime them with virtual reality. I just hope that it catches on more.